Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. A lot of the viewers, a lot of you guys have been asking, what do we do with the chase boat? Do we put it on board? Do we tow it? Does the chase boat captain drive it everywhere? I'm gonna answer all those questions in this video. Um, but before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that um, if this YouTube channel, the Super Yacht Captain YouTube channel, reaches 100,000 subscribers by the 14th of September 2019, we will be donating 10,000 euros to charity. And all you need to do is click that subscribe button and you'll be helping to contribute to a very good cause. Also, if you wanna follow us on social media, we've got the Super Yacht Captain Instagram page and Facebook, Instagram Super Yacht Captain One, Facebook is just Super Yacht Captain, so you can follow us on both those social media platforms. So in, our, in order to answer your questions, um, it's not possible to bring the chase boat on board AWOL. We simply don't have the space or capability to carry it on board. We transport it two ways. If for any journey under an hour, the chase boat captain David will drive it himself. For any over an hour, we tend to tow it. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we tow the chase boat, how we connect it, and between the deck team and the chase boat captain, they're gonna talk you through the process of putting a chase boat in tow. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. That's 200,000 views already. <laughs> Terrible lighting, mate. Uh, and there is your 100,000 views right there. Yeah, woo woo! You, you! That master. That master. Um, Sweet, Joe. Eh? So, this morning we're going to be going to towing operations and how we do it on AWOL. Um, so, hey, Barbara. We, uh, first of all, we attach two points of contact, kind of uh, evens the load out between uh, we've got, we've each... Got, we've got a... Hey, Jason, Jason, we're not David, David, you're clear to approach and uh, connect to Heather. Mm. 
So it's a J you're saying what two points of contact? Two points of contact. Um, so we even the stresses in the load out while towing. Um, so we attach it that side, bring it down. Uh, what we tow with is 50 to 60 meters of Dyneema line. Super strong. Um, so we attach that to this uh, black line. And uh, then that goes to the chase boat. It's gonna... So, we then pass the other end of the black line through this and attach it to the other side of the vessel. Now it's never good to have line on line contact and friction but we do monitor it and we've uh, when we see it starting to get uh, quite worn out we replace it. The reason for that is if we had a big metal ring or shackle on the end there's always the chance that it can if we had to slow down or something it could go straight into the transfer and we end up with a massive dent. Not Ayoba. No, definitely not Ayoba. Babs reconnecting on the other side there. Thank you, Barbara. We're always uh, in our life jacket, safety first here on AWOL. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm just coiling everything nicely so that when we do uh, attach the chase boat and start uh, picking up speed. There's uh, no no snags, no knots or anything like that. So we'll try and make the operation as smooth as possible. Uh, try not to rush. We've got a perfect day, so there's not much swell. The action. I can only supervise because I don't have my life jacket, so I have to stay here and just uh, see them work. <laughs> no, I'm here to be sure they're safe. Give a little kick ahead. So we've got three points of contact coming off the chase boat, and then we attach it to the Dyneema, this big yes, attachment. And once we've done that and we've got control of the chase boat, um, David will cover everything on the chase boat. Um, trim the engines right up and then turn off all batteries and then he'll make his way onto a wall and then we'll begin towing Tristan, Tristan, David's on board. Can I have a kick ahead, please? Got me.
Jay, any safety procedures while extending the line? Uh, I'm just making sure that I try and keep the tendon as well. I'm trying to try it as straight as possible. It's not that important. I'm trying to make sure the line goes out nice and smoothly, um, as well as making sure I don't get my foot or any part of me in any of the bites in the line. This tension gets taken up there, it's like kind of makes like a noose around you. You can get dragged into the water, so. Um, yeah, feeding it out nice and slowly, and then when tension's almost up, I'm going to walk up the side of the stair and get out of the way. Just uh, communicate with the captain. And then just ensuring you're behind the tow line at all stage, yeah. times, just in case. So when tension to, gets taken up, I'm not in any danger. Just the uh, that for towing operations. She's a snapper, she slides all over the place. Like a firming Right, so I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. It gives you a better idea now of what we do do with the chase boat, um, when, it's when it's being towed, how we tow it, how we connect it. Um, as always guys, if you did like that video, please click the thumbs up button and please do remember to subscribe because we will be donating 10,000 euros to charity if the channel gets 100,000 subscribers by the 14th of September 2019. And I look forward to seeing you all next video.